we've got a load of stuff to get packaged ready to go out the door today including one person one buyer has bought 10 different items from me i've never had that happen before So here we've got a fair bit of stuff, all different items. We've got some clothing, some toys, some pop figures, hats, all kinds of stuff there. But over here we've got one buyer who has bought 10 lots of items. So uh, we've got to sort that out because we're going to do some combined shipping on that. So that'll be interesting. So stay tuned to the end for that one. I'm going to leave that till last. Right, so here we go. This is going to be a bit of a marathon, so sit tight. Um, We'll try and do it relatively quickly. Uh, this is my little workspace for packing. I've raised it up so that uh, I'm not doing my back in so much. So first of all, I've got a non eBay item. I've got one of these denim jackets to go out. Um, so this is going out. So very easy package. Hopefully you can see something of what I'm doing. Just fold it right up and um, I'm going to double bag it um, basically I'm double bagging it to protect it from rips on the bag so if the outer bag rips a bit it doesn't damage the item inside sometimes I do double bag you know what they say to stay safe make sure you double bag so to be anything fancy and these FedEx bags really strong as well so that can be the outer bag and there we go that's the first one done and to make sure when I come to do my labeling I know what is in each what each package is, I'm going to write on it. Just small little bit of writing, um, and then when I come to package that, I'll just put the label over the writing. Okay, right, it's one down, 20 odd to go. Uh, let's package this Minya. This is one of, one of Bell's sales. So, well done to Belle for selling that one. We'll use a bigger FedEx bag for this. I'm not going to get it sideways, so it's just going to have to go in the bag. I'm not going to give it any more protection than that. That should be fine. Let's keep that. Keep the bin open, that's easier. Just right on their belt, and that'll, I'll know what that is. So I'll put that to one side because I need to do that differently. Right, let's get some clothing out of the way. Let's get clothing out of the way because that's easy and it'll free up a bit of space for me. Now we've got a Nike Just Do It t shirt. Um, I can give you some prices on these if you want. Do you want prices? Do you want sale prices? Can't harm, I suppose. Okay, uh, the I don't know how much the minion was. That's Bell's. Uh, uh, the jacket was £25. Uh, the Nike is only £5.50. This is £5.50. I've had this ages. So £5.50 on this one. We'll try and keep up with the prices so that you know. Again, clothing is so easy to ship. It's it's really a piece of cake. So that's going to go in a poly bag, straight in the poly bag, fold it up, give it a couple of rolls. Try to do it too quick. A couple of rolls, nice and neat. And bang, there it is. A lot to be said to, for selling clothing, so that's a Nike, 
tea. I don't think we've got any other night teas, so easy peasy. Uh, what have we sold here? This is I only recently picked this up. Uh, rugby top, Ingram rugby top. So we'll get it folded nicely. This went for twenty-five pound. So reasonably happy with that. Give it a nice fold. Presentation is important when you're shipping. Unlike when you buy certain things off certain sites and they get chucked in a bin bag. I'll not say any more than that. So that's my rugby top. Rugby top done. There we go. And we're right on there. I haven't got any rugby tops, so just the one rugby, like that, and I will just stick my label over the top. What else have we got clothing wise? Um, oops, whoops, a daisy nearly dropped to that, nearly dropped the watch. I've got this Man City um, hoodie, which literally only came in a couple of days ago, and it's gone straight out. It's a nice little hoodie. And that's going for 20, I think. I think it's I think it was 20. Maybe I undersold it a bit, but at the end of the day you want you want stuff going in and out quickly. So straight in the poly bag, no messing. Hold that over. And Bob's your uncle. And uh, I'll just put MCFC on there. Okay, we're out. I think I think we're out of clothing other than this one here, which we're leaving till later. Um, we do have a couple. We've got a pair of trainers here. We've got these Nike mid tops, which uh, nice condition. Sold for twenty five pound. So, how are we going to ship these? Now, do I use a box for them? I'm 50-50 on boxes with trainers. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, I think we might save the boxes. We can, we can polybag these, but we can do it nicely. Let's tuck the laces in, tuck the laces in. What we'll do, we'll give them a bit of bubble wrap to give them a bit of protection. So we'll put them in as if they're in a box, like back to back like that. Hopefully you can see what's going on up there in the heavens. And we'll wrap the bubble wrap around there. I've run out of thank you cards at the minute and, I, and I'm undecided as to whether to order some more. Normally I'd be throwing a card in with these saying thanks for your purchase, here's a discount code. Not many people use the discount codes and I'm wondering if it was actually worth it, you know, worth the expense of buying the cars, having them printed and stuff. So, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't got any at the moment. I only run out the other day, so I'm contemplating buying some more. Let me know in the comments if you put a thank you card in with a discount code or some people even put sweets in, you know, like a couple of little sweeties. Let me know what you do, if anything. If you do nothing, you know, let me know you do nothing. This is going to go in a poly bag like this. I think it'll be fine. I do this all the time. So there, there you go. Nicely packaged up trainers. You could put them quite easily in a box. I don't think it really matters that much. If they were expensive trainers, like, you know, 50, 60, 50 pound, 40 pound, 100 pound, I'd probably put them in a box just to keep them a little bit secure, but 25 pound trainers, you know, nothing fancy can go in a bag. So these are Nike trainers. And they're done. 
Uh, I've got this, talking about Man City, another City item. I've sold this uh, FA Cup flag. Is that the right way around? Yes, it is. And that has gone for a tenner. I think I paid a pound for it or something like that. So that went for £10. It's very creased, so there's not much I can do, but I'll, what I can do is fold it nicely. It's been stuffed away somewhere in a bag. So just fold it nicely. It could, it could in theory, quite easily go large letter, but I really don't do large letters. And the buyer has paid for track shipping, so they pay £3.60 for shipping. That's going to go by every, and it will be tracked. I think tracking is more important than ever at the moment with all the uh, stuff going on in the world. Uh, I think we need to track. I don't understand really why, with all the power and resources that Royal Mail have, why they don't just track everything, um, especially parcels. Okay, I understand letters. You're not going to track letters, but parcels, they should track everything, right? Because if Royal Mail tracked everything, um, they would blow the competition out of the water. We'd all use Royal Mail, I expect. So I don't understand why they don't just track everything. They must have the infrastructure there to do it. They can do it with certain parcels. Why can't they do it with all of them? They would literally blow the competition out of the water. And I know you get delivery confirmation, but it doesn't always happen. That's the problem. And that's why I'm reluctant to go all in on Royal Mail. Um, because the delivery confirmation is hit and miss. And then when you get a problem with a buyer or item delivery, and that delivery confirmation isn't there, then we're in trouble. So um, I just wish that they would just do all parcels tracked. I don't understand why they can't. Oh, I need a break already. Okay, let's move on. We're starting to make a dent in this. Hopefully you can see everything okay. I think you can, kind of, because I'm here. Uh, right, now then, I've sold this um, WWE figure. And this is, um, this sales come courtesy of a viewer, so thank you very much. So I don't know which wrestler it is. I think it sold for about eight pound, let's just check that. Um, eight ninety nine. It's uh, Charlotte Flair. Who knew? Who knew? Um, I'm not into wrestling, but um, this viewer is, and because they are a channel viewer, they got a nice little complimentary um, cookie in the Hayden's. Whoops, a Daisy. That went straight in the bin. I couldn't have done that if I tried. Um, they get a little card from Cookie and the Haydens. So if you guys ever buy anything from us, you will get the same. You'll get the same treatment. I think we'll use this. Um, actually, um, it's gonna have to go in a little box, I think. So what have I got? This looks good. Just found this little one in my pile of donated boxes. This should probably be okay. I'll give it a bit of bubble wrap anyway. Make sure it arrives in one piece. So if this is your figure, drop us a comment. Um, there we go. That'll be nice in there. Put the card in there. Put a bit, a bit of tape on that. There we go. Very nice. Lovely. Uh, Get a bit of void film. Just fill it out a bit, stop it moving about. You can do that like that. We'll stop it moving about in the package. If you can stop something moving inside the package, that's hard, that's most of the battle in stopping something getting broken. Stop it moving. 
put that void fill in. I use newspaper more often than not, sometimes peanuts. Uh, let's give, give this a bit of extra. Sometimes peanuts, but mostly newspaper. It's free. People save it for me. It's recycling. Saving the planet. It's reusing stuff that would or... I mean, I know, you know, you put newspapers in the bin, it will probably get recycled anyway at the recycling centre, but if you can get a few more uses out of it before it actually goes to the recycling centre, then even better. Okay, I think that's enough. Pretty secure little box, lovely. Um, and that is, I'll just put wrestling there. Nice shocking writing. Um, that is ready to be labelled along with the rest. Okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, we've got some more little figures here. We've got some pop figures. Three Five Nights at Freddy's figures. These three. I think these went for £16 for the three. You might remember I picked these up at a boot sale. So, uh, yeah. I think these are going to have to have a little bit of a bigger box. Probably one of the green eBay's will do nicely for that. One of the green eBay's. Get some void fill in here in the bottom. Magazines this time, so not just papers. Magazines do just as well. Put that there. And we'll just space them out inside. Like that. These should be absolutely fine. So we've got a void fill underneath, and we'll put some more newspaper on top. And that's done. No bubble wrap needed. There's plenty of cushion there. No point wasting the bubble wrap. And there we go. We'll just, whoops, a daisy. There we go. Uh, times three pops. Oh, I've got other pops. So just to make sure I don't get confused, I'm going to put five nights on there as well. Just in case I mislabel it. Got to get it right. Okay, what's up next? We've got, uh, this is a Disney key, so it's a Christmas item. It only went for five pound. Um, it's one of these keys, these collectible key things. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. So, I'll probably just polybag this. Um, I mean, the box isn't great. Very, very flimsy. I wonder whether I should... Mind you, it's got plenty of protection inside, so I think we'll be okay. But what I will do is stick it in a polybag rather than just send it. Mind you. Mm. Yeah, I'll just stick it in here. Should be plenty protected in there. Mm. If I can get it to go this way, that will wrap up better if it will go a long ways. I don't think it will. I'm not using one of these ones. it long ways. There we go, that's a bit better I think. 
Always a bit of trial and error sometimes, isn't it, when you're packaging? You get one particular package and then you think, hmm, that's not great. So we'll use a different one and there you go. That'll do. I think that's fine. Um, Disney key. And that can go over that. What else do we have? We've got um, a Tyson Fury hat. Furosity. This is from his um, drinking brand. It is not, not drinking brand. It's like a spot. Uh, is it an energy drink or something? That's all for thirty pound. I really, I had no idea what to list this at. I just put it at thirty pound. So I thought, oh, no idea. Put it at thirty. There might be a fan out there interested in it. Thirty pounds sold. So that was a nice one. Now I do have certain boxes I use is, I use for caps, and I use the eBay square ones. Always use these for caps unless it's very low value and then I, I don't use it. But definitely for a thirty pound hat, I'll use this one. Never have a problem. Touch wood. And basically the hat just goes straight in there. In fact, in this case, I'm going to just put a little bit of bubble on it. No, it doesn't need bubble. I'm wasting the bubble wrap. I'm not doing it. Right, so the hat goes in. And then I use um, printer, waste printer, uh, label printer, paper stuff. Um, and I save it for hats specifically. So that can go in there. A nice little bit of void fill and again it's free and this would normally just get put in the bin so saving the world one void fill at a time and that is the hat done very very easy simple If you got any questions, drop a question in the comments. I always do try and um, answer every single comment. So uh, if you're new and you're struggling with packaging, it's understandable. Uh, it's definitely understandable. It takes a little while to get used to doing stuff. Drop us a comment, always willing to help. Not that I can do much this far away from you. Uh, okay, I've got pop figures, I've got a watch, I've got some candlesticks. Okay, this one, uh, this pop figure here, uh, this went for £15. So what I'm going to protect the pop figures a little bit more, even though I'm going to box them and void fill them, I'm going to give them a little bit extra because they can, can get damaged very, very easily. Just the slightest knock and it's damaged and people like their pop figure boxes to be in good condition. Unless, of course, you've described them as something different, but... Give it, I'll give it a bit of extra. I'll just whack a bit of bubble wrap around this. At least it makes it look like I've tried to protect it, so that's there. Uh, I'm going to get the same box as I used for hats. Again, it's a good size. If you just send in one or two pops, these are a nice size box. You get these boxes free, you know. Well, kind of free. If you've got a middle shop, middle shop level, you get a £10 packaging voucher from eBay every month. And you can put that towards buying um, bags, boxes, tape, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, just pay the extra if it's a bit more, which it always is. It's never £10 or less. So I don't think there is anything that's under £10. Um, so I normally buy extra and might put maybe 5 or £10 towards it and use a £10 voucher. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put the pop right in the middle of the box and I'm going to pack around it. So I'm not putting it tight into the edges because it could get damaged that way. Put it in the middle, pack around it. Uh, 
I'll show you in a second how that looks. So I'm going like that so that I can pack around it like that. going until I feel like there's enough there. One more I think. Okay, so that's how it looks. Can you see? I don't know if the light is allowing you to actually see that but um, pop in the middle, paper all around it and now I'm going to finish it off with a couple of layers on the top. Just crunched up just scrunched up there, just needs two there, two pieces. And like that, just covers the top. And then, bang, that goes in there. Nice and tight. Whoops. Didn't match up the cell tape. go that is done it's not moving hopefully if it takes a knock which these boxes sometimes do they take a bit of a bashing hopefully that cushioning will help it so that's another one done another one bites the dust I've got this watch to send I've got a super dry watch I don't know whether it's too bright can you actually see I'm wow that's bright uh, okay, let's go. Now then, now then, let's have a look at this. What are we going to do? I'm wondering if I can wrap it round a, a pillow like that. Yeah, that might work. And then I can box it. Yeah. Like that. Just wrap it round the little plastic pillow. And then I'll give it a little bit more bubble wrap and then it can go in a box. Um, this watch I think has gone for £15 by the way. So we'll give it some more wrap. There's probably a better way of doing this one but this is what I'm thinking at the minute. No right or wrong way, way, I suppose, as long as it's safe and it's nicely packaged. That's fine. I'm just doing it quite nicely. Trying to keep the uh, wrist strap position. So there, we've kind of created a bit of a, a bubble inside, strapped around, and I'm going to box it. We'll use an eBay green. Oh, let me get a brew before it goes cold. It's going cold already. I forget to drink my bloody brew when I'm doing this. Okay. Now we'll put some more void fill inside. Where's that paper gone there? It is. That for a minute, get in the way. Put a couple of newspapers in. And then that can go in there. And then a couple more newspapers on top. Right, it's in the middle kind of thing there. Couple on top, and hopefully that should be all right. Yeah, I think that's all right. I think that's done the job. Uh, 
Oh. So that is a watch. Okay. We are cooking on gas. Right, okay, we've got four pop figures, a bundle of four Mad Max pop pop figures. I think these went for £20. Two there and two there. So got a bit of a package to do here. I think I know which box I'm gonna use. I think I'm going to go with the large orange eBay for this one. Move those out of the way whilst I sort the box out. Are you still there? Are you still there? Or are you falling asleep yet? If you like these packaging videos, drop us a comment and let me know, please, or give us a thumbs up because. I will, I will do more. It's a bit like the Picking Orders video. Have you seen that yet? If you've not seen the Picking Order video last week, go watch it or I'll put it at the end of this one. And let me know what you think because I'm always wary about these videos. They never really perform that well. So... Um, I'm always a bit wary of doing them. I always think, you know, who's really interested in this? So the four will go in. But don't worry, I'm going to give it more protection than that. We're going to go bubble wrap. And void fill, I think. that to one side for a moment Put it down there whilst we sort this out so let's see there and there nice little bundle of pops this if you're a Mad Max fan 20 quid that's a bargain And keep it neat and tidy together. Give that a bit of sticky tape. And then fold that over there. Helps protect the side a bit if I double up there. In case of a side bash, side swipe from every. Okay, that's okay. So there you go, that's ready to go in the box. So let's see how much room I've got for actual void fill here. So not a lot really, that's kind of fitted like a glove there. Um, I would have liked to have had a bit of room there for void fill really, but let's see what we can do. Where's my paper then? Probably put a bit at the bottom here because there's a gap. So we'll stuff some in there. And then we've got a little gap at the side there. So we'll give that a little bit. We're not going to get a whole lot in there. Okay, so that's about as good as it's going to get. But I will put some on top, of course, because that's not hit the the, uh, the seal in there. I keep having to lick my fingers to get the newspaper out, and that's horrible because I've got inky fingers. Bloody ink poison. So we'll just scrunch it up there, give it plenty of air pockets. Whoops. One more, maybe. One more. We'll give one more, maybe. There we go. I think that is sufficient. Ah, oh, it's got to me gun. Uh, 
there. Lovely that, lovely. Hopefully that'll be okay. Try and get that there in one piece. Now that's messed up. Oh. Just give me a minute. I'll stick that there just to hold it. Let's sort this out. Look, stuck to me gun. Stick to your guns, Chris. I will. Okay. So that's four pops. Uh, I'll just put I'll just put Mad Max. I shouldn't need it, but so there you go, ready to go. Um, now the last thing I've got, someone's bought that, but they've not paid yet, and I already packaged it, which was a mistake because I don't think they're going to pay. So that's going to be a waste of time. Uh, I've got two green glass. It's not uranium. Two green glass uh, candlesticks. So those, and then I'm moving on to this ten item bundle. Which is going to be, it's going to be interesting. So we're going to bubble wrap these two. How long has this video been so far? Thirty-six minutes. Wow. This is a long one. Sorry about that. Uh, what we'll do? We'll wrap that first one a little bit. And then we'll put the second one in opposite. Keep them both together. Like that. Put some tape on this. And fold that over there. Should be plenty enough. I think the battery went then. Um, so I just changed the battery. So I've just done the little candlesticks in that. I'm going to use the square eBay box for this one so I can give it some void fill. Mm, where's my paper gone? Okay. the void fill in the bottom there and we're going to put these on top. This is basically what I do when I have mugs as well. I need more papers. Actually, it's a little bit too big for what I would have liked. A little bit awkward, but I've got that. I've got it. I've had to put it at like an angle. Kind of packing all around it at the moment. Basically, use the whole newspaper for that. That should be fine, I think. Time will tell. You've got to do your best to get things there in one piece, of course. Well, it's not very good customer service, is it? Uh, candle sticks. Right, so that's, that is the bulk of it. Now I've got one buyer who very, very kindly purchased 10 different items. I'm guessing this is like early Christmas shopping. I mean, it's a good idea because if you shop in my store, and this is not a shameless plug, if you shop in my store and you buy more than one item, you start getting multi-discounts. 
And this buyer was very clever because they realised that they could get 25% off after you start buying certain numbers, like three or more, I think is 25% off, something like that. Um, so they spent like £160 or something, but they did get 25% off everything because of the multi-buy. So that represents a fair de fairly decent discount. Um, so I've got to figure out now, because they wanted it come to £40 shipping. So they wanted to do some combined shipping. So I'm going to try and get that down to as low as possible. But it's definitely going to be more than one parcel here. But I'm certain we can pretty much half the shipping cost. If not a bit more. So let's take out the small items. So we've got the IKEA plush. Um, we've got the robot Doctor Who. Uh, we've got two DVD box sets. See, it's all random stuff, so I think this is, like, he's done all his Christmas shopping in uh, one go. Uh, we've got a pack of um, cards. Bit of dust on that. Pack of calm cards. Um... And we've got a Hawaiian t-shirt. It's all very random. Hawaiian t-shirt. I've got I can't remember all the prices of these. Um another Hawaiian t-shirt was £19. Uh, I think the GoPro actually overheated then. Uh, we've been going so long, which is bad really, isn't it? Five hundred pounds for the I mean it didn't quite cost me that, but it's essentially a five hundred pound GoPro that overheats after half an hour. Shocking really, isn't it? Shouldn't be allowed to get away with that. Anyway, listen, right, what I've done is I've split the 10 items. I've got six items here that can go in one box. So that's a bit of a win. Um, and I found this box. I've put a little layer of protection on the bottom. And I'm going to slowly fill it up with these six items. So that should save him a fair bit. So we've got a Risk Captain America. These have got to be all Christmas presents. Maybe people are shopping for Christmas now before all the bills come in. And we ain't got no money. That could be a reality, couldn't it? So that fits quite nicely in the bottom on top of that void fill. And we're going to pad things out a little bit. Uh, where's the rest of me? I need to make some space here. Space. Put that there so that you guys can see what's going on. So, so far so good. Got a couple of DVD box set. We've got Not Going Out and we've got a musical celebration. Got all the old musicals on that, six of them. So we'll put DVDs in here. Nice and easy to stack. Um, and we've got this set of calm cards. Don't know if that's too bright for you to see, but can go in there. Right, we've got the robot. So I'm going to individually wrap the robot with some bubble wrap. That should be enough. I might actually move this round so that he's in the middle. So if I put that there. I need to protect this guy. Has this video been too long? Please let me know because if it's too long, I'll make sure the next time I do a packing video that it's, you know, maybe 10 items or something. But just a look at the drawer. I thought I'm doing a packing video today and then and someone bought 10 items, which I'm not complaining about. I'm just saying that it made the video longer. So if this has bored you to death or you... I was going to say if you turned off, but that's that's ridiculous because you won't be here now. If you found it too boring, let me know. Right, I need to sort this out. So let's get some void fill in there. Got some more somewhere. This is all donated to me, all that Amazon void fill. Belting, belting void fill. How many times have I said void fill in this video? Too many. I'm going to stop saying it now. 
you don't realise till you watch it back how much you repeat yourself. So that's how it's looking right now. I've got space for robot, Cyberman or whatever he's called. He can go right in the middle there. He'd be protected on all sides if I put him in the middle. Protected on all sides, that's what we want. That is handy. Okay, so Cyberman is nicely protected in the middle. We are getting there. So now we've got two natural safety blankets, if you like. Uh, we've got an eagle from IKEA. He can go next to Cyberman to give him a bit of natural packaging. And we've got this Hawaiian shirt, which I'm just going to put on the top. Provides everything a nice little cushion. <laughs> Excuse me. And now all I've got to do now is void fill the top. Oh, I said I wasn't going to say it. Damn it. Damn it. Um. I can use some more of this, but I don't think I've got enough of it really to, to fill it out. So we'll put that on. And we'll, we'll get some more newspaper on it. Tight. We don't want things moving in there. That is the main thing. No movement. Really important. I reckon that might do it. Let's just have a little test. I think we're done there. I think we're all right. So we've managed to get six items and we've saved six separate postages by doing that. Sticky. So that's a win for the buyer. We've reused an old box. I'll probably put some on the underside as well, even though it has got some. Try and connect the sellotape on the side. Help it stay strong. Stay strong, my friends, stay strong. There we go. So that. Now, when I dispatch this, I need to make sure I get the right tracking number for the right items, just in case things go missing so six items in there uh, including risk so if I write that one there I can put the right tracking number next to each item and then I know that the three big board games are going to go differently so that is the first part done now part two we've got crystal maze which actually is only part complete, so maybe they've got the other part of it, but it's not complete. Now what I could do with really sticking something in there to stop that rattling around so much. So I'll just put some 
newspaper in there because otherwise things might get broken. Like I said, stop things moving if you can. So I'll just put a little bit of newspaper in. Just like that, just to help stop things rattling around inside. Now you could use anything for that, a bit of bubble wrap or but hopefully the newspaper with its different jagged ed edges might help with that. Maybe just a little improvement, that's all we need. So let's try. Better. We're never going to get it perfect. So, what boxes are we going to use? Actually, most board games are pretty easy. If you've got the FedEx or the UPS boxes, because they are perfect. They are perfect. It's slightly bigger, but it's okay. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. Perfect size. Oh, I'm hoping it's going to slide in nicely. Beautiful sticking out a bit as you can see but it's, that's not the end of the world because these flaps these flaps are big enough stop it these flaps are big enough to go over that so you'll see what I mean in a moment now I'm just gonna put some paper down the edge just to stop that from moving side to side do one more I hope that the buyer read that this was only for parts, spares and repairs. So it's fairly secure, it's still rattling, but we can't do too much about it. So watch. What you can do with the flaps when it's sticking up is just bend them at the top of the game. Bend them at the top of the game. And then the same with that side. It's a bit fiddly. Bend that over. And now you'll see that we can still close it we can still close it and even though it's sticking out we can still get a seal on it what i'm going to have to do because i don't want that sticky top to touch the um the game because it could rip off um, Maybe I'll just pull that down a little bit, not all the way. I'm not going to give it all the way. Just to stop the sticky stuff going on the actual board game. So I've folded the sticky adhesive section and just so that's it, perfect. Now I would be a little bit concerned about there being enough adhesive. So I'm I'm going to give it some tape as well and also that covers the edge here which is not quite complete that's okay I'll give a bit of tape on the end of the other end just for safety case that seal failed. So that's done. So that, that is one out of the way. Crystal maze. Now I may yet attach this to one of the other board games and that will help me save a bit more money for the buyer. But I'm just going to hang fire and just see what we can do with these. Now this is this game is sealed. I can't do anything about anything moving inside. It's a sealed catch mag i think it was like 20 quid or something so i'm going to this is even longer than the other one so this could cause a problem if it's too long let's hope it's not too long it could be too wide at this rate oh just tiny bit too wide um 
How much longer is it? We probably get away with the length. I wonder if we can squeeze it in. I wonder if we can get that in by bending the edges. done is just put a little score mark on the inside there in the middle to give it a bit of bend there can you see what I've done and that might give me enough room to get it in I'm gonna do it on the other side as well it does weaken it slightly but I'm going straight in the middle trying to keep it in the middle and then just give it a bit of a bend can you see that how I've kind of bent that now let's see if I can get it in because I'm not sure but I think it is worth a try before I try and frankenbox it it's gonna be tight I'm at risk of breaking the seal on the game which I really don't want to do Why did I buy this? Why do you buy stupid things that I can't package? Come on Chris, go on. Slowly does it. Slowly does it. It's going. It's going, but I'm worried about the seal on the game. It looks okay at the moment. with it. Now you'll notice it's too long, but what we're going to do, we're going to put it right in the middle. A bit more, right in the middle. And then we can fold the ends like we did on the last one. This is the tightest board game ever. See, it doesn't quite fit, but by the time we put the flap on, it will do. So I'm only going to use a tiny bit of adhesive because otherwise it's going to stick to the game again, like the last one. Tiny bit of adhesive. Fold that over there. I think we've just about got it. Oh, that was a pain, wasn't it? Hope it doesn't get damaged in the post too much. Again, we're just going to use a little bit of that adhesive, not all of it. Just a teeny tiny bit, just enough to make contact with the other side. And there we go, we, we have done it. It's not ideal. So I'm going to give that some tape. I'm going to give this some tape. It's a little bit exposed. So what I might do is just firm those corners up. that's the best I can do I mean other than Frank and box it which means basically make your own box up which would have been my next step I think we've just about got it in there 
so hopefully it's okay that's a catch mag i think they're gonna have to go separate really now i've got the last item of the 10 for this fella is democracy the board game it's not much moving around in there so that's fine now i'm hoping i can get that in another one of these fedex boxes Again, it's slightly too long, but we're not too bad. It's a bit like the, the first one. Well, it's nearly there. It's very close, but it won't be a problem. We do need to put a bit of newspaper in this one. Stop it moving around. Oh, this video has been long, hasn't it? Sorry about that. You wanted a packing video. Packing all around it. There will be no movement. Okay, I think that's sufficient. It's not going anywhere. So now what I'm gonna do is just bent over the flaps and I'm gonna stick it can't use all the sticky but I can use most of it so we'll just do that again like this and we'll get some tape on it so and I think We'll put a little bit there as well. And that is the democracy game done. So what I'm going to do, what I've managed to do is I've got six in one parcel and I've got... Is it six or seven? I think there might have been seven in that one then. Seven. And then three separate parcels here. So... Hopefully they'll be all right. Well, that's it. That's all today's packaging done. I've done all my labels and here they are. All ready to go. They're gonna love me at the every shop. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. I know it was a bit long. Let me know in the comments if it was too long. If you enjoyed it, also let me know. If you didn't like it, load of rubbish, let me know again. Take care everyone, see ya.